Start on your back, knees bent, feet hip distance apart. Prepare for bridge flow. Press the feet firmly to the ground and lift the hips up slowly. Pause at the top and then slowly come down. Do a few more times. Lift the hips and lower. Three more. Last two. Last one, lift and stay up in your bridge pose. Press the feet firmly to the mat. Keep your thighs parallel. Firm the glutes. Feel a stretch in the front of the hips and the thighs. Relax the arms by your sides. And take a few more deep breaths here. And slowly release, upper back, mid back, hips come down last. Once you're all the way down, bring your feet to the edges of your mat, feet wide for windshield wipers. Drop your knees to the right, come back to the center, then drop them to the left. Do a few more of these. Two more on each side. Last one. When your knees are down on the right side, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. So the right foot is weighing down that left thigh. Feel the stretch in the front left hip, left thigh. Make sure there's no pain in the knees and keep your breath going. Last few seconds on this side. And slowly back to center. Keep that right ankle crossed over the left thigh for pigeon on your back. Slide your right arm through that space you made and pull your left thigh in towards your chest. Hands can be behind your thigh or over your shin, whatever you can reach. Keep the right foot lightly flexed. And as you pull your left thigh in towards your chest, gently press your hips down towards the mat. Feel the outer right hip, right thigh. Breathe through the sensations that come up. We'll be here for a few more seconds. Release just your hands and wrap your right thigh more tightly over your left thigh, like you're sitting cross-legged. Hug the legs in towards your chest again, and hands can be anywhere you can reach. Continue to press the hips towards the ground gently. Soften your face, especially if this is intense for you. Make sure there is no wasted energy. Take one last full breath and carefully ease out of your pose. Uncross the legs, bring the feet to the ground, feet wide to the edges of your mat, and drop your knees to the left. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, weighing down that right thigh. Relax the shoulders and the arms. Breathe. Stay a few more seconds. Carefully come back to the center. Keep the ankle crossed for pigeon on your back. Slide your left arm through that space and hug your right thigh in towards the chest. Feel the opposing movements happening within the pose. As you hug your right thigh in, press the hips down towards the floor, 
in effect moving the left knee slightly away from you. Feel the left side at this time. Notice if it's slightly different from your right side. And breathe. Release just your hands and wrap your left thigh more tightly over the right thigh, squeezing inner thighs towards each other. And hug the legs in towards your chest again. This time noticing both sides. Staying watchful, staying mindful of the sensations and our own reactions to the pose. And now release, uncross the legs, bring the feet to the mat again, pause and observe. Second set of your bridge pose, lift the hips up, maybe a little bit higher this time. Keep your thighs parallel to each other, lift the chest. Last breath. And slowly come down. Bring your feet to the edges of your mat and bring the inner thighs and knees towards each other. Observe the low back and the low belly. Bring the feet close together again, then relax the left leg on the ground and hug your right knee in. Start doing circles on that right side, moving from the right hip. Change the direction of your circle. Pause your movement, keeping the right knee close to the right shoulder for half happy baby. Lift the right foot up, sole of the right foot facing the ceiling, like you're doing a lunge upside down. Your hand can be on your thigh, your leg, or your foot, and keep that left leg that's on the ground active and awake. Carefully release from your pose. Bend the right knee even more for a twist. Bring your right leg across the body, stack the hips, and straighten that right leg any amount that you can. Moving your right foot towards your head and feel that stretch in the right hamstrings, right outer hip and thigh, and breathe. Last few moments here. Bend that top leg, come back to the center, and relax that right leg down on the ground. We'll do the other side. Hug your left knee in, and start doing circles on that side. Get rotation in that left hip joint. Change direction of your movement. Pause for half happy baby. Keep the left knee close to the left shoulder. Lift the left foot up. Stacking that ankle over the knee. Keep the right leg, right foot engaged. Deep breaths. and carefully ease out of your pose. Bend that left knee a little bit more for your twist. Bring the left leg across the body, let your hips roll so they end up stacked. Once you're in position, straighten that top leg any amount that you can. Moving your left foot towards your head. Feel that left hip, hamstrings on that side. Breathe through the sensation, stay present, relax that left arm. Last few seconds here. And slowly bend that left knee, come back to the center, relax the left leg down, pause and observe.
Now hug both knees into the chest for your full happy baby. Bring the knees wide and lift both feet up. Gently press your hips down towards the ground. You can stay at the center or rock gently side to side, whatever feels better for you here. A few more deep breaths. And in the next few seconds, carefully release from your happy baby. Prepare for a full body stretch. Legs on the ground, reach your arms up overhead, point your toes, big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Last set of your bridge pose. Feet hip distance apart, lift the hips up, firm the glutes, lift the chest up. Maybe interlace the fingers if that feels okay on the chest and shoulders. Last breath. And very slowly release. Roll down. Once your hips are down, set up for a supine bound angle pose. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees drop to the sides. Feel the inner thighs, the outer hips. Consciously relax any areas that are tensing up or gripping. Take a few more deep breaths in your last pose. And to release, bring the knees towards each other. Give yourself one last big hug. Take a breath. And let that go. Prepare for Shavasana. You can stay here for a few minutes to relax or end the practice with a seated meditation now that the hips are a little bit more open. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.